Here at Bite Size Vegan, my focus is always effective educational content. I push myself beyond the limits of my mind and body, putting in the long hours of research, writing, filming, editing, fact-checking, rechecking, and in-depth citation creation insanity. All to provide you with rigorously reference-backed quality educational content on an impossible timeline that boggles the mind. But it's all worth it when I see the message connecting. I post about the emptying of our oceans. You say, my arms look awesome. I expose the evils of dairy. You ask about my abs. A lot. Like, really, a lot. And some of you think I'm gross. That's nice. Okay, so fine, I'm finally giving in. Here's a video all about my abs and core training. And for the sake of consistency, I expect a flood of intellectually stimulating questions in the comments of this video. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan and welcome to another vegan nugget. Every now and again, I act like a proper YouTuber and bust out a video with a focus on fitness. With the plethora of questions about my abs as of late, I decided to share with you my favorite crunch-free moves for 100% vegan, no-kill, killer abs. Because no one has to die for your gains, including you. Just check out my vegan athlete series for more proof. And as an additional nugget of awesomeness, at the end of this video will be a link to a bonus video showing my full body workout routine. I've posted it publicly on my Patreon page. So be sure to check that out for an example of how I put everything together. My approach to abdominal training is a bit atypical. I don't have ab days. I don't do any sit-ups, crunches, or any moves that compress the lower back. I focus on functional, whole body movements while consciously engaging my entire core throughout. The moves I'm sharing today are body weight moves, but I've included links in the description to other workout videos of mine that involve Olympic weightlifting and basic weight training in my creepy basement gym. A word of caution, please consult with a trainer for proper form, always be sure to warm up, cool down, and stretch, and if something feels wrong or hurts in the bad kind of feel the burn way, just stop it. Seriously, just stop it. With that said, the first step for any killer workout is looking awesome, which I've clearly got in the bag. For me, this is extra essential as I'm in full view of my neighbors. You're welcome, neighbors. Step two is a rousing musical track. But since this is YouTube and I don't fancy a copyright strike, you get to listen to some stock music. Get pumped. So here are my favorite core body weight moves with some variations. You can find a list of them on the blog post for this video linked below, as well as on the bonus body weight routine post on Patreon. Let's start with some plank-based moves before moving off the floor. Planks are ideal for full body functional core engagement. Move number one, basic plank with variations. It may seem simple, but a properly executed plank is no joke. Always work to keep your body in a straight line from your heels to the crown of your head. No booty popping or core sagging. Proper form trumps longer holds or higher repetitions every single time. You can step up the intensity of your plank by playing around with leg lifts, alternate leg and arm lifts, be sure to stay centered, work from a forearm plank, or take it down a notch with a cross-reach move on your knees, still engaging. Move number two, side-to-side -side plank crossovers. Again, keeping your body in line, no booty popping or core sagging. With this move, you can play around with your over-under hand placement. Move number three, front-to-back plank walk with variations. If you're on a slick floor, you can really dial this move up by putting a towel under your toes and basically dragging your lower half keeping it engaged, of course. A variation is using your forearms. Once again, straight line. Move number four, side plank push-up rotation with optional leg lift. As I said, I rarely work just my core. This is a great move for full body engagement and balance training. The key is slow and controlled movement with proper alignment and mental muscle focus. No sagging or popping. To lower the intensity, you can take out the push-up or leg lift and just do the plank side to side rotation or take it up a notch by keeping your raised foot in the air through the full rotation. Move number five, up-down plank with directional variations. I'm sure there's a better name for that. This is one of my favorite moves. Anytime I've seen it performed, it's with the more natural progression of down right, down left, up right, up left. I like to instead go directly back up on the last arm I put down, as fighting the sway of my body demands more of my core. As always, proper engagement and alignment. Move number six, 
10-10 push-ups. Pretty simple, but pretty killer when you really focus. Hold a proper plank for 10 seconds, then lower to a hovering position, elbows against your body for 10 seconds, then repeat till you crap out. There's a tendency to bow the back as you raise up, so stay engaged and stop when you find yourself dipping. Move number seven, jumping jack burpees. If you wanna toss in some cardio, jumping jack burpees will just about do it. More than any move so far, core engagement here is absolutely key. This may not be an appropriate move until you've built up some basic stability. If you find your lower back dipping or booty popping, do not do these. Move number eight, elevated optionally one-legged pike push-ups. For a side of shoulder with your core training, try these out. You can always take out the elevation and use both feet. And finally, we're off the floor for move number nine, slow-mo hovering run or L-sit. Let's start with the most ridiculous looking one. This may look like nothing, and if you don't engage, it is a whole lot of nothing. But with focus on the motion, extension, and engaging, it's a nice move. You can also, of course, bust out a classic L-sit hold. Move number 10, warrior three squat with half moon variation. This move works everything. Focus on keeping your body in line, pulling your navel in, engaging your back, butt, and legs, pulling your shoulders away from your ears, and pushing out through your heel. You can vary your arm position and or do a variation of rotating from warrior three to half moon. Always be sure to balance with the other side. Move number 11, pull up leg lift combos with variations. This is a little more advanced and variations are available. You can work with a band or break the movement into component parts with hanging leg raises or even knee raises or hold one pull up and continue leg raises. You can also play around with moving versus holding and lowering with extended legs. Always engage. And finally, move number 12, peel the potato in pike position. So this is typically called skin the cat, which is actually what I call it in the bonus workout video that I'm going to link to. But just for fun, I thought I'd use a more vegan title for it here, cause nothing says fun like speciesist semantics. Now some final tips. Core training doesn't have to be core moves. Keeping your core engaged no matter what you're doing protects your spine, builds stability, and prevents injury. Just don't associate engaging with tension or not breathing. And of course, be sure to take your before and after pics to show the incredible transformation. And take any opportunity to gratuitously flex your vegan muscles for any protein-concerned observers. Because we vegans kill it without killing. Now go check out the Nugget Army Bodyweight Boot Camp Bonus Workout where I show you a sample routine. It's linked right here in the sidebar and in the description below. I hope you enjoyed my crunch-free moves for no-kill killer abs. Don't forget to exercise your mind too with the rest of my content, cause smarts are sexy. You've already gone to the exercise video, haven't you? Well, to my remaining fellow nerds who are still here, go live vegan, kill it without killing, and I'll see you soon.